Well, good morning, everybody. I'm here to pick up my drums behind me there. I'm not sure which ones are mine, but I'm taking three of them. So, so I've got all my dunnage here all ready, set to go. My racks, I'm hoping that these racks are gonna work. What we do is we put the wood on each end of that, and then the drum goes in the middle so that it can't roll side to side, right? I'm hoping these are big enough. If not, we might have to figure something else out, but I'm pretty sure these are the ones they, they needed. And if this wood isn't enough, then they have a lot of four by fours over there. I actually didn't even need to bring wood here. I was told that I had to bring some dunnage, but they have plenty, plenty here to load you with. So I don't know. Well, I guess if everybody used theirs, they wouldn't have any, right? But they have some spares here if I need extras. Well, I'm just waiting for them to come and meet me and load me up. All right, this is where they make them. Huge shop, really smoky in here. Got three of them. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. Diesel, good boy. Thanks for all your help. Thanks. All right, I gotta fix the back there. Real quick, did you miss me or what? There you go. I have to get a whole bunch of equipment and stuff from under there. Okay, so we just gotta go around to the front to get our paperwork. I'm pretty sure that's what they I tried to take a shortcut to get around the Toronto mayhem. It looked like there was an accident according to Google somewhere on the 401 in the GTA, the greater Toronto area. So uh, I figured, hey, I'll take, you know, the, the town roads and go around Brampton and meet up at the 400 north of the city. That's a great idea. I'll miss all the traffic. Terrible idea. Absolutely don't do that. Because it's no better. Sure, you don't have to sit in, in stop and go bumper to bumper traffic on the freeway, but you gotta stop and stop and go traffic on the side roads. And every light is red. So I'm finally at this like uh, industrial zone here where we gotta stretch without lights. It's kind of nice to stretch my legs a little bit, get up to a full 40 miles an hour, 60 kilometers an hour. It feels like I'm going lightning fast right now compared to what I've been doing for the last two hours. Okay, I feel better now. Got that off my chest, vented a little bit. On the plus side, got to see some really nice scenery. And now that we're out here, I probably can't see it off to the right here. There's just some rich, huh, look at this driveway, gates and everything. Rich people living out here. I love it. Look at that house off to the right. Ooh, I can smell the money from here. Can you smell it? Oh, it smells so good. Oh. And there it goes, it's staying over there. <laughs> There's so many people that live in this part of the country. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But hey, whatever. Whatever. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine. You know what fine stands for? Freaked out, insecure, neurotic. And what else is it? What was the last one? E. Emotional. Yes. Freaked out. Insecure. I can't even remember them right now. My brain is just like going in a thousand different directions at once. I hate traffic, I hate populated areas. But I'm a truck driver, so it's part of my job, so I just deal with it and vent to you fine people. 500 meters, turn right on King Road. It's actually not as bad as I'm making it sound. I think I'm just hungry. I'm a little hangry. Is this where I turn right? She said turn right, right? Right. Yeah, let's turn right. Okay, so we're gonna finally be back on the freeway right away. It's just a right turn up ahead here, and then a little loop to dupe onto the freeway, and we should be in the clear. What a waste of time this was, though. 
Next time Trucker Josh tells you, I know a shortcut. No, you don't, Trucker Josh. No, you don't. It is off on our right, Husky in New Liskard, Ontario. The Petra Pass off to our left there as well. One of these truck stops has a parking spot for me. I can just feel it. They better have one. I'm gonna go over to Husky first because they have paved parking. But if I don't find a paved parking spot here, there I can already see there's plenty over at the Petra Pass across the street. There's actually a really nice truck stop on that side as well. Maybe we'll go check it out tomorrow. Let's see. Any room for Trucker Josh? Any room at the inn for me? How about for a weasel? Do it for the weasel, no? Let's see, there's already these guys parking back here. Makes it doubtful that there's a spot for me. All these guys with their super bees taking up two spots. Not nice. Not very nice. Any room for a trucker Josh and a weasel? Come on, come on. I only need one spot. Seems to me that some people need more than one spot. I only need one. I'm gonna go around the corner here. And... Takes a lot of people take up two spots. Take it, people. One spot, that's all you need. Why can't you just straighten out? Take the 30 seconds it takes to straighten out your rig in your parking spot so you're only taking up one spot. Other people need to park too. So selfish. Might have to go across the street, yeah. It's packed here. That's no, okay, I don't mind, whatever. At least there was parking across the street. I just have to park somewhere like in front of the pumps here or something and run in and use the, the bathroom, brush my teeth and stuff because there's no 24 hour facilities on the other side of the road. Well, pooper scoopers, nobody saved me a spot. Well, it's a gravel lot. In 600 meters, but it'll turn work. left on 11B. There was a spot right here, but exactly where I want to park.
I wish my Volvo was the bigger Volvo. Oh well. I'm just closing down the shop for tonight. Business is closed. Until further notice. Alright. Turn that off. Oops. That's it for today. Thanks for watching me today, guys. Tomorrow's another day. We're going to start all over again with a new vlog. Hope you tune in. Hope you subscribe. And I'll see you then. Time for bed.